So I've got my 2016 F-150 here that I uh, bought about a month and a half ago. And ever since I got it, I have had a pretty good vibration, um, 65 miles per hour and up. Uh, I've got Nitto 35, 1250, 20 tires here. And I've been able to, you know, with, with uh, rotating them through and everything, I've been able to determine it's definitely one of the front two tires. So we're going to use a product uh, I had never even heard of until recently. It's balancing beads. They put these inside the tire and they are supposed to balance as the tire rolls. Um, looked online, saw some pretty good reviews with guys running bigger tires like this, so figured I'd give them a shot. So basically what we've got here, we're going to let all the air out of the tire and then you can actually put these beads in right through the valve stem. So the kit, if you get the full kit, it comes with a nice tool here that focus but takes the uh, takes the valve stem out of there and then it comes with a little bottle and a hose here to be able to put the beads right in there without taking the uh, the tire off Once I let a little bit of pressure off the tire, I went ahead and used the uh, valve stem tool to just go ahead and take the valve stem out. Um, just keep your hand on it, make sure it doesn't go shooting off. It's got a lot of pressure behind it. So uh, now we'll check out what's in each bag here. I got four bags um, because it, it calls for eight ounces in each one of my tires for the size. Each bag is four ounces, so I figured I'd just buy, uh, just put two bags in each front tire since I know the back ones are uh, pretty good balance. So. It's kind of what you get, these little bitty, little teeny tiny crystals, and it gives you a new valve stem. So, once all the tire comes out of that, or all the air comes out of that tire, we'll go throw this in. Problem number one I have with this is the way you're supposed to get that in there. It says, pull the valve stem core, hook this hose up there, hook it up to your bottle, squeeze it a few times, and all your, all the beads will fall down in the tire. Well. No, they just get jammed up and they sit there and they you can't move, you can't squeeze anything and they're not even going down, as you can see. They're just sitting there. So, the only way to get them to go down is to consistently tap that line and every time you tap it, a few beads fall in. So, this is probably going to take me an hour of tapping on this to get all the beads in this first tire. Alright, so I've got the beads in one tire and with how long that took, I want to see if that got rid of my vibration before I spend another 45 minutes doing the other tire. That was a massive pain. Um, you can see I got tires aired up, 45 on both the fronts, and typically 65 or so, 65-70s when that vibration starts kicking in. So. Definitely still have a vibration there, so don't know if it wasn't that tire or the beads aren't working yet. So we'll throw them in the other one and I'll drive it again. Alright, we've got the balancing beads in the second tire now. See what happens here at about 65 and up. Yeah, still got a vibration. I'll run it a little bit longer, see if anything changes with that, but uh, as of right now, it seems like that was a waste of money and time. Well, we gave the balancing beads a shot, and uh, at least from my experience here, they, they didn't work. Um, so that was a waste of about $25 and probably an hour of time. I would suggest if you're going to give them a shot, probably just take the tire somewhere and, and have them taken off the wheel. Then you can throw the whole bag in there. Uh, yeah, they might charge 10 bucks a wheel or something, but trying to do it through the, the little jar bottle thing they give you and a hose is not worth it. I literally sat here tapping on that thing for 45 minutes to get all the beads down into the tire. So that'd be my one advice. I'm not saying they won't work for anybody. I've seen a lot of forums and stuff where, where guys running 33s and 35s said they worked for them, uh, but it definitely didn't do anything in my case.